So um, going back to when you were still living here, you did the Miss Teen USA, you became mm. the first Asian American to win. Mm -hmm. um, and then you went, you weren't sure that you were going to win because, you know, th that was a time when I think you said or your mom said. My that, mom said. Uh, people weren't ready for Asians in this world. Yeah, so. she said before I before I hopped on the plane, she said, don't she said don't cry now when you don't win because mm -hmm. america is not ready for an oriental miss teen usa back then we still use the word oriental oh, okay. yeah and um and my response was oh, that's so old-fashioned nobody thinks like that anymore <laughs> this is 1985 because <laughs> i had no experience with that you know you've never left hawaii before that um i did briefly you know little trips here and okay. there um, I went on, you know, like, a. I went to Muncie, Indiana for the International Ooh, Thespian okay. Conference <laughs> <laughs> in like, you know, sophomore year, um, for drama. But, um, you know, it, it, it was never my, my, you know, it was never in, in, in my head that that was even a thing. Um, I just always felt like we were more special mm. because we were so different. You know, coming from Hawaii, especially, and whenever anybody always finds out, anybody in the world who, you know, you talk to, and when you say that you're from Hawaii, everybody's like, oh, wow, you know, like, it, it, and so I, I always went out with the idea that, you know, coming from Hawaii, looking like I'm from Hawaii was more special than, than a hindrance, mm -hmm. you know? And so when I went into the pageant, I wasn't thinking, oh, I'm, I'm Oriental and I'm going to be different and they're not going to like me. Uh, my whole idea was, well, yeah, I'm, I'm from Hawaii and I'm going to bring the aloha and I'm going to, you know, wear the flower in my hair and the lace. You know, my, my mom sent me up with a cooler of lace mm -hmm. <laughs> and flowers that I could wear, like fresh flowers. Mm -hmm. And, um, and even like when these girls were, were dressing for like all these events, um, you know, w I remember one in particular where we had to meet the press and we were going, it was at somebody's house. It was in Miami and this event was at somebody's house and they had this, you know, beautiful like marble columns outside and, you know, marble, you know, uh, entryway. And the first thing I did I took off my shoes <laughs> and I'm walking around barefoot. And by the way, all these girls are in their like sequins dresses and, you know, like taffeta and whatnot. And I show up in my mu'u because <laughs> in Hawaii, you know, back then we were still wearing mu'us. Not yeah. anymore. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. But um, there's a little movement coming back. There are some people. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, Bring it back. Yeah. Bring it back. I know some people. Um, so, so yeah, I showed up in my mu'u with my, with my kukui natle and my, my haku. And, and, um, and I remember taking off my shoes. So I'm like barefoot while all these other girls are in their sequence dresses. And as soon as I walked in and the photographers saw this girl with all these flowers and the mu'u and the barefoot, barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> they started snapping all these pictures of me. And I ended up on the front page of, you know, the, the newspaper in Miami wow. after that. Um, I also became like one of the most hated girls in the pageants <laughs> because of it. They thought I did it as like a publicity oh, stunt, yeah, yeah. right? But I had no idea. To me, this was what formal wear was. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to save my good stuff for pageant night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so so I always felt like, you know, being different was was a bonus that, you know, I was like, great, I don't look like all of these other Barbie dolls. You know, I'm going to stand out. And so I came in with a whole different kind of attitude. And I think that helped me with my um with my acting career as well mm -hmm. you know when i i met a lot of other asian actors on the mainland and you know there would be like these little indie films and stuff like that that were maybe not that great mm -hmm. you know but it was like all asian productions and my my asian friends were like you know you gotta do it for the cause and i'm like what cause? Like, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, <laughs> you know, because I never felt like I had to, I don't know, apologize for being Asian. Mm -hmm. You know, it was it was never in my in my bones that, yeah. you know, that that was uh, a hindrance at all.